Let's work on language arts, page 228, 230, and 231. Okay, page 228 is called Sue and Sam. We're gonna be comparing them to see what's the same and what's different. It says, read the story and answer the questions. Go ahead and read with me. Sue and Sam are twins. Sam is tall and Sue is not. Sue loves baseball. Sam sings and plays in a jazz band. Both Sue and Sam like to read and write. Okay, question number one. How are Sue and Sam alike? Meaning, how are they the same? What is true for both of them? Well, one thing you could say is at the last sentence here, it says, both Sue and Sam like to read and write. So that's the sentence I'm going to write. If you think of something else that's included in the story, you can choose to write that. I'm gonna start off by saying they both like to, they both like to read and write. It's right there on your page if it's easier for you to see on your own paper. Make sure your sentence has a capital and a final ending punctuation mark. Okay, let's look at number two. How are Sue and Sam different? What is different about them? There's actually more than one option here. So I'm only going to write one, but you can choose what you would like to write down. One thing that's different, it says right here, Sam is tall and Sue is not. That's one option. Another option is Sue loves baseball. Sam sings and plays in a jazz band. Those are two differences. You only need to pick one of them and you can go ahead and write that down on your page. I chose to write down the first option. Sam is tall and Sue is not. Make sure your sentence has a capital. Make sure the name Sue also has a capital because that's her special name. And then also an ending mark at the end of your sentence. When you're done with this page, let's go ahead and continue on to 230. Two hundred and thirty is called Puzzle Fun. Find the shapes with words that show ownership. Words that show ownership, that something belongs to a person. If you're the owner of something, you're showing ownership. For example, the pencil that you might be using right now, it is your pencil. That's an example of a word that shows ownership, your. This marker right here, it's the marker that I am using. This is my marker. So the ownership is that I am the owner, the word my. Maybe we're thinking about a group like the first graders. This video is their video, meaning it's for all of them. Okay, words like that show ownership. What we need to do is find the shapes that have those kinds of words and color them, that should say the word them, color them orange. I don't have an orange, but I'm going to use this color instead. Then complete the sentences below. Okay, let's take a look. Let's try and find words that have ownership. They show who is the owner. My marker, your pencil, their video are examples. Let's see. In. In is not an owner. My. Yeah, my is an example. So let's go ahead and color in that shape. Q 
keep going. Knee, knee marker. That's not an option, no. He, he marker, no. She, she marker, no. His, his marker, that's another example. So this whole shape can also be colored in. It, it's marker, no. Your, your marker, yeah, that's, that works. The, the marker, is the an owner, no. B, B marker, no. Her, like her marker, yeah, that can work. Our, like our marker, yeah, that works too. Maybe you're starting to notice what this picture is. It's, it's marker. Yeah, that actually works. Like if you're thinking about maybe like a pet, a dog or cat, and it's its food bowl, it belongs to the dog or the cat. Yeah, that totally works. Their, their marker. Yeah, that's, that's another option. Shout, shout marker. No. Eight, that's eight, like you eat something in the past. Like yesterday you ate something. Eight, eight is not showing ownership. Tall, no. He, no, that's not either. Okay, let's see what happens here at the bottom. If this pet belongs to a girl, it is hmm pet. If it belongs to a girl, it is my pet, his pet, your pet, their pet, its pet, our pet, her pet. If it belongs to a girl, it is her pet. If this pet belongs to a boy, it is his pet. Great job on this page. We have one more to do together. So once you finish with 230, let's continue on to 231. This page is called Color, Number, Size, Shape. Read the clues in, and then these curved lines are called parentheses. So read the clues in parentheses, then write a describing word to complete each sentence. Draw a picture to go with your description. Okay, let's take a look at number one. See the hmm bug. And you need to fill in that blank with a color. Well, you get to decide, so what color would you like your bug to be? If you need help spelling the color, you could look at your crayons and see if there's a wrapper, and on the wrapper, it will have the name of that color. Or if you're not going to use your crayons, maybe you decide gold or silver, then you're gonna go ahead and just try your best spelling on your own for that. So see the, and then pick a color for your bug. It doesn't have to be real. It can be an imaginary bug that you create. That's fine. Okay, and then number two. It is very, and then a size. Think of a size. What size is your bug going to be? Maybe it's very small. Maybe it's big. Maybe it's huge. Hmm. I don't know if I want to be near a huge bug, but it's your choice. So you decide what size you want your bug to be. Three, it has a hmm, face and you need to fill in that blank with a sh ape shape. What shape face does it have? Is it a round face? Is it a square face? 
Is it a diamond shape? Is it a rectangle? Is it a triangle? You pick a shape and write it right there. And number four, it has hmm, legs and you need to fill in with a number. Maybe it's going to be like an insect. Insects have six legs. Maybe it's going to be like an arachnid, which is a spider and it has eight legs. But it could be something like a millipede. Lots and lots of legs. Your choice for how many legs, but once you're finished, go ahead and include an illustration of your bug in the rectangle.